Which one do you like? The top right. This with the bangs? Yep. Really? <laughs> yeah, that is uh, too strange. All of them are too strange? Um, yeah. Today I'm going to throw away pretty much every YouTuber's advice of just be your authentic self and create the things you love and I'm going to give the people what they want. I'm going to be what they want me to be. There's so much cushion now. I have no idea what would happen if I went out with this here in Hong Kong. And I'm going to do what they want me to do. 51% say go to a cafe. Really an embarrassing moment for you to see. I'm gonna lose myself in the hopes of becoming more like. Is this what you want? Is this the kind of person you want to follow? I'm every country is all in me. Anything you want, my viewers, I'll do it naturally. So, whoa, we're doing that song. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform with over 25,000 classes in design, business, technology, basically anything you want to learn more about, they've got. I liked this iPhone photography class where I learned how to create the perfect Instagram photo from setting up my phone to getting that great shot to editing it like a pro in Lightroom. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or just learn how to create better content for social media, Skillshare is your place. I am a firm believer on trying new things and learning new skills because you're going to discover things you didn't know you'd like and that's going to ignite new passions and therefore create new opportunities. Skillshare is giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial to the first 500 people that click the link below in my description box and then after that it's about $10 a month. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's get into it. With likes and followers being the currency of today, the world's been obsessed with getting validation from people on social media. So much so that Instagram has decided to take some of that power away. As of right now, they're testing removing the likes on people's posts on social media and the internet has mixed reactions. It may be more difficult for brands to work with influencers, but many think it will bring a positive change because people will be more willing to be themselves and share what they wanna share or what inspires them rather than just what gets more likes. We're yet to see the final decision and outcome on this, but today I wanna move in the opposite direction. I wanna see what happens Happens when I let what other people think fully consume me in the way that I become exactly who and what they want me to be. To start this all off, I first need to figure out what my audience and their respective countries think is beautiful. I took photos of my body from four different angles and a close-up of my face. Then I posted it and asked my followers to Photoshop me into what's beautiful in their eyes or according to their country's beauty standards. Small disclaimer, this was just a little experiment and most people actually made a note at the bottom when they sent me the photo saying that this was just for fun for them. They don't think I should change anything about myself. I'm perfectly fine the way I am. And I really enjoyed seeing the outcome of this. It didn't offend me or affect my self-esteem. This was purely just out of fun and curiosity. I look how people want me to look in Korea. So the results have come in and I've looked at a few of them and they're really interesting because you can see a direct correlation between what people did to my face and body to their country, whether they were going by the country standards or their own and then told me what country, country they were from. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna find... I don't know what we're gonna find. <laughs> I don't know what I... I don't know what I want with this. It, I'm kind of going along with it. I have an idea of where I'm going. I think the best way to do it is we'll go, we'll start listing the countries and then like the, what they changed. Like, oh, okay. i.e. like lips, bigger versus smaller, blah, blah, and then we'll mark it off. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see how many did that. Mm -hmm. And from there, we'll be able to collect what majority did okay. and see a trend, okay? All right, here we go. Argentina. So Latino. Okay. Here's the photo. It's like a geography test. 
People sent back their Photoshop versions of me and Natalie and I looked through all the photos and conducted our very important research. Smaller boobs and smaller hips. I think she left them. Oh no, she made them smaller. Did she? Is that mine? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm bigger than that. Mm. <laughs> and she made my butt smaller, that's for sure. I can tell by the- <laughs> the door! I got way more in the back than that. So what does the perfect face and body look like? Well, that depends who you ask. I now know what the majority of people want my face and body to look like but in order to fully become what the majority of my followers want me to be I need to know a few more questions I need to know about my hair I need to know things I should do today what I should film what I should show on my social media so what I'm doing today is sort of a Instagram controls my day. This was a trending video a little while back. I never did it, but I'm, I'm gonna incorporate it into this video. So I did a poll this morning for my hair. Up and curly, not straight. I don't have to shower. I don't have to wash my hair. I can just put dry shampoo and throw this up because it's already, I can curl it a little bit more, but I don't have to shower. 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 Thank you for having mercy on me today, guys, because it's gonna take a while for me to put this whole look together, but the hair is really easy. I wanna take all of this information and create a look out of it. I'm just curious to see what would happen if I took the majority of what people said was beautiful and specific features and put them all on my face. Let's start with the eyebrows. Hello, my old friend. It's been a while. We're gonna use this again. So a lot of people, the majority of people, either gave me a brow lift, arched my brows higher, and or shortened my forehead. So I feel like lifting this area will sort of do all three in one go. I'm gonna attach these clear pieces here to my forehead and sort of lift. Where do I want it? lift this area. Taking some Telesis, which is a super strong glue, add it to your sticker and stick it right onto the area you want to lift. I'm a little bit scared because the last time I tried this, it didn't go so well. Ah! I think what I need to do, because usually you'll put it here to lift and you can tie it around your head and it will stay, but since these are both 
vertical there's nothing to clip it to I think I'm gonna add a ponytail to the back and then clip it around the ponytail I've done it whoa this is giving me some forehead wrinkles but we'll figure that out later in Photoshop um, but my, my goal is to become as close to this world beauty representation as possible in real life without the Photoshop. Eye shape wise, almost everyone added more eyeliner and or eyeshadow to my eye. And what was interesting is the Asian countries tended to make it my eyes look a little bit more droopy, like winging the liner downwards for a more innocent, deer-like is what the term that someone used, look. Then basically everywhere else people winged it up. I have actually tried a lot of the downward facing liner before in my life when I lived in Japan, but for the sake of this video, since the majority of people winged it up, I am going for that look. Eyeshadow wise, most people use pink tones or brown tones, so I'm gonna take them both into consideration and make a sort of soft, pinky, brown, smoky look. Spreading eyeshadow is so much easier. I have so much more space to work with and my skin is just smooth. Now I'm just putting this pink color on my lid and I'm gonna pop this pink shimmery color in the center of my lids. With my black liquid liner, I'm drawing out my winged eye look. I have to say this tape gives me a lot more confidence. The hardest part about my eyeliner is getting the angles to match and be straight and the tape definitely takes away a lot of that stress. Ooh, that one was nice. For my face color, most of the countries in Asia tended to make me more pale, whereas the rest of the world either went for more, either more tanned or keeping my same complexion but adding more contour and bronzer to give more of a glow, sun-kissed look. So I think I'm gonna keep my complexion similar to what it is. I'm gonna use the darkest foundation I have, but it's not that dark, so I'm also gonna go in with a lot of contour, especially because people slimmed up my jawline and my chin line and my forehead shape. Now time for a bit of concealer and translucent face powder before moving on to eyebrows. I am going to go in and make my brows thicker and darker. I'm not sure how I feel yet, but I do like the idea of them. <laughs> I can't move my eyebrows or forehead. Okay, this feels like I got a lot of Botox. Back to my lower eyelid now. I'm gonna continue with the trend of opening my eyes up bigger and outward, and I'm gonna do that by darkening the outer corners with that medium dark brown eyeshadow that I used here. Now moving back to the face makeup, I'm gonna add a bit more contour and bronzer. I'm also gonna contour my nose because most people made it slightly smaller or at least made the tip more pronounced. So the way I'm gonna lift the tip is to add a bit of shadow underneath bit right above the tip and with a small brush just a touch of highlighter just a little bit of pink blush and highlighter on the cheeks brow bone and inner corners of my eye for lashes people tended to make them thicker longer or more voluptuous in general just more lashes so I'm gonna add some false lashes and I'm gonna focus on the end of my lash line. So I'm gonna place them slightly off the end of my lash line to make my eyes more elongated and open outwards. And finally, a couple coats of mascara and then we're done the eyes. For lips, the majority of people made them bigger in some sort of way, either wider or higher or both, but most of the time, they always made my top lip bigger to make my lips more symmetrical because my bottom lip is a lot bigger than my top. I need to tell you now that this was my second attempt at this makeup. This may surprise you, but sometimes I take things a little bit too far and uh, this was one of those times. Okay, now for the exciting part, lips. So I've also tried to enlarge them with special effects makeup and it didn't work out too well with how I did it. Oh, maybe like from far away. So in attempts to not do that again, but still try and get better at doing special effects makeup, I decided to buy pre-made latex lips. All you gotta do is cut them, stick them on, and they're there. Pretty easy, nothing can go wrong, right? Do. Look what I'm becoming. 
Is this what you want? Is this the kind of person you want to follow? <laughs> oh, do I look like the Kim Kardashian crying babe? <laughs> I decided to cut them along the edges and then I'm gonna glue them on. And I added a bit of my Kylie lip kit and charm with lip liner and I feel like it looks better. There's like holes in it. Lumpy injection. Wow, this lip section is making so much annoying. Wow. Like annoying 15. 15? 50, 50 times annoying. Oh. <laughs> I have to put up the next hole. Cafe or cook at home. Hopefully, they just choose cook at home. Well. 87% says something new and different. Woo! So for something different, I decided to make an order from Fashion Nova, which is a very popular shop on Instagram. <laughs> Going the battery's gonna die. Okay, so I decided to order from Fashion Nova, which is a really popular shop on Instagram. A lot of influencers like to shop here. I never have before. So I went on there, I made a purchase, and it arrived. And honestly, it was so long ago. I actually was planning this video, I think, before I moved here. Yes, yeah, my old address. So I'm gonna pull out some outfits and we're gonna find one. Should I let you two? Most people also widen my hips. Um, I am going to wear some padded underwear. It not only makes your butt bigger out the back, but also widens your hips to the side, as well as controls my tummy. A lot of people move my stomach in. So I think this is what people are looking for. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put on the outfit. I'm gonna put on a padded bra because a lot of people made my boobs bigger. So I always tend to wear the same comfortable bra is this one. There's no wire, there's no padding. It's like the regular t-shirt bra. I have like 20 bras, but I always wear the same one or two, like every day. <laughs> Today, we are going to wear my biggest, most padded bra that I never wear. Like it's, look how oh, thick yeah, that true, is. True, true. Look how thick that is. And we're gonna give me the biggest possible cup. Everyone's saying I should have like ideally a C cup. So I feel like this is gonna take me there. My milkshakes bring all the followers to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But I have to charge when my milkshake brings all the followers to the yard. They're like, it's better than yours. David's gonna like this video. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm becoming your dream girl right now. People are asking you to have a bigger thigh, right? So like when the fat is all pushed. <laughs> but it's just like making it in sections. It's like this, this, and then boom. Okay. Ooh. And, and snap. Got First that. Time. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this hurts. How many bras did you wear? This is like a built-in bra. This tank top, so it gives me a weird shape. I don't know, is it your lips or what? Your face actually looks like you're suffering. They said hair up. Really? Didn't that they, they, they did? Yeah. What the hell? I, I hope people. I thought they were over the ponytail. Exactly. I have no faith in you guys. And um, they said curly, so I can't even do it differently, like in a bun or something, because obviously. They want to see the curls. Ah, oh. oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> it's this feels like the most annoying ever. It's even worse than the 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 Instagram. The Instagram one was fine. Catalog poses coming through from modeling in Japan. <laughs> this outfit is so annoying. <laughs> The laughing. <laughs> I hate the laughing. 51% cafe, 49% cook at home. Uh, Give it another minute. <laughs> I'm gonna re glue my lips. 
hoping it changes. <laughs> Are they still there? Okay, so we're at a Chan Chan Tang. Chan Chan Tang is a local sort of fast food restaurant. How can you get a little less close? Thank you. It's like a local fast food restaurant, like a cafeteria type style restaurant in Hong Kong. So you guys chose a cafe. I want to show you a very local cafe. This one's since 1991. I'm feeling really uncomfortable, both physically, like because I can barely move my lips and like this corset is cutting me off. I'm a bit comfy on the butt side because I have a lot of cushion underneath. But other than my butt, I'm not comfortable. And I'm like, I don't feel like my, I'm getting flashbacks to the Instagram model video where I didn't feel like myself, so I just don't feel confident. And yeah, so we're like hiding over here in the corner. Um, I think what's throwing me off most, like the body thing is fine. I think it's the tight see-through clothing I'm not comfortable with because I normally wouldn't wear that. But that's also like okay. Um, it's the lips. It's not that they're bigger, it's that they look really bad. Like you can tell something's glued on my face. I probably should have just overdrawn them. You may be wondering, where's the chopsticks? How do you eat? There's a secret drawer under the table. So yeah, it, it didn't work out. They didn't look good or realistic at all and they kept falling off. This is like the new Invisalign. What is it? The braces. Oh, oh, the braces. You take it out to eat and then put it back on. So I decided to do it all again, this time with makeup only. I think I'm gonna start by contouring. Taking some white eyeshadow, I'm gonna create the illusion of fuller lips, adding some highlights to my lips. I'm really focusing on the space between where my actual upper lip is and where I drew the new upper lip line. And the same thing with shadows, I'm just adding in some brown eyeshadow and blending it out to create contours both in the lips and outside around the lips. Alright, so this is my makeup look. Okay, so we have a bit more work to do. I've got to change outfits, put up my hair, and then the physical transformation part is done. I loved this curvier me. It made me feel bold and sexy and womanly and like I could dance. Now you've already seen the white outfit, but I had a lot of fun with that, so I decided to try on more. It's not too bad, but overall how I feel on the outside and the inside now isn't good. I'm gonna get changed into the outfit that I am most dreading. What in the Britney Spears budget Kylie Jenner is... Oh, I feel so insecure. It is so tight. You would have to have some major confidence to wear this out somewhere or have somewhere specific to go that this applies to. Just to just walk outside like this for no reason at all on a regular day. The last thing I want to try on is these the sweatpants look that was very on point I think last year for a lot of celebrities and 
people on social media. These sort of sweatpants with a crop top and the boots I'm gonna put on. And I added a hat because I am going out right now and I don't want you to see the tape or the, the like ponytail strap things at the back. So this is my look. Okay, we just came to HKUST because it's where Tom actually studied. So every now and then he likes to go to the cafes here. And we're gonna take a photo now. I think we got the shot. B. What the? Touch it. What Slowly, closer and closer. Slowly. Do, do you like my look today? Yes? Hi? Are you okay? Yeah, very good. So, this is the Hong Kong Limited drink. It's a berry pearl drink, and this is a drink that you guys voted for me to try today. So. Mm, it's like a berry milkshake with a. There's a lot of textures with the pearl in it. It's good, but it's really sweet. I kind of prefer more of a bitter coffee taste if I'm gonna grab something, but nice to try for something new. I think overall, this whole thing has reminded me of that. It's fun to try new things sometimes. I always tend to wear the similar, similar kind of clothes, similar makeup, eat similar foods, drink similar drinks. So this has made me a little bit uncomfortable, get out of my bubble and try some new things. The final step was to take a photo and post it on Instagram to see what people think. The moment I have been waiting for. I used Facetune to further beautify my photo because I needed to remove the face tape as well as smooth out my skin and get rid of my acne because everyone did that. I couldn't achieve that look with just makeup alone so I did that as well as sharpening some areas and just brightening the photo overall. The popular apps that people used to Photoshop me were Facetune, Snow, and Me Too. However, when asked, 75% of people said they don't Photoshop their photos. I feel it's something I did more when I was younger and less now. I think that the amount of Photoshop I use was directly correlated to my age and my confidence level. But just to be clear, I definitely regularly enhance my photos using blur, sharpen, and color tools. I posted a bunch of photos, one group in the morning and one group at night to try and hit different time zones and countries. I wrote out a longer, slightly more emotionally tied caption, sort of, which some call me out for, in attempts to throw people off. Because according to my poll, the caption is just as important as the photo. 50% of people care more about what you write when it comes to liking something. Right away, some people had speculation, so I decided to post some more photos and a video on my Insta stories in order to make my look a bit more believable and still there was mixed reactions. Some people loved the makeup and or overall look. Some thought there was something off or fake looking. Some people thought I looked like a sim, Kim Kardashian, Barbie, Ariana Grande, if you just look at this area, Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid, actually no Hadid, I was one of Lil Michaela's friends. Many people thought it was for a video, but they weren't sure which one. My mom asked if I got lip filler, guys slid into my DMs. I had faked out many, catfished a few, actually just one person, but that doesn't normally happen. Um, impressed some with my makeup skills and had shape-shifted into one person's dream woman. Almost. Either way, I had become exactly what some countries deem beautiful. In my second post, I cared less about the caption and put in my favorite photo of the day. At this point, it's safe to say most people assumed something was going on and it was for some sort of video and this is all my fault because I always troll you guys and you always play detective and you always think something's going on. Also, I should mention that people said they prefer people post more on Instagram stories rather than on their actual Instagram feed and this is something I usually do but this time I noticed my my Instagram story views got a lot more views, like 10,000 more views than normal. And I'm not sure if this is because of this look and people 
wanted to see more of it and see what's going on through my stories or these photos led new people to my feed and these new people were also viewing my stories but I was definitely seen more and had more interaction. In doing this experiment I found new looks that I do like on myself that I probably normally wouldn't have tried and a few new makeup tricks. I feel like it's a lot to handle in person but on photos I really like the way it looks. I actually love my eyebrows like this. I think I'm gonna draw them a bit um, fuller and slightly more arched in the future. I'm really glad I tried this look. And I do like the more bronzy contoured look that I did with my skin and my lips. I love the look of fuller lips, but I think in person you can see this is way too overlined and it just doesn't look that great, although it looks great in photos. So I don't think I'll be doing the lips on a daily basis. Which one do you like? Wait. The best, you mean? I like the most. I need to... Uh... Top right. This with the bangs? Yep. Really? Yep. Huh. <laughs> yeah, others are too strange. All of them are too strange? Mm, yeah. Top right. You don't like any other ones? Maybe this one. <laughs> Thank God, that's what <laughs> That's a real photo. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I did like the way my body looked being more curvy, but I don't think that's something I can achieve naturally because of my bone structure and genetics. Maybe if I went to the gym more, I could get a little bit closer, but I don't know. I, I'm happy with the body I have at this point and everything it's done for me over the years. Walking on an incline today. I just started running and I don't know if it's what I ate or the corset, but I'm feeling a lot of indigestion. It just doesn't feel good. So I'm just doing the walking thing tonight. So now it's time to get more technical. How did these photos compare to my normal photos? Did they get more likes, more views? Did it bring in more followers? My average amount of likes is usually around 20 to 25,000, usually on the lower end. And this photo right now is at almost 29,000 likes, so it's doing really well. This one's a little less, it's at 25,000, but I posted it later, and it did bring in a lot more people from the Explore page and brought in some new followers. So I can understand why people would wanna do more of this because you do get a lot of likes and attention and getting all dressed up and receiving validation from other people is a lot of fun and sort of addicting. But then the question is, will those people stay? And how will this all affect your mental state? So you may be thinking my conclusion to this will be Photoshop is wrong, or people on social media are fake, social media isn't good for you, but it, it's not that at all. I actually love social media and it's not going anywhere. I think it's more important to be concerned with yourself, how you perceive things and how you deal with the mental stress of comparison and your own self-acceptance, whatever that may look like. And we've always struggled with these things as humans. It's just now on a daily larger scale because of social media. I know this has been said many times, but remember that when you're looking at social media, people are showing you what they want you to see. It's a curated version of themselves. If using these tools makes you feel better about yourself, then go for it. But sometimes I think we can take these things too far and it really affects our mental state. I think I took it too far back when I lived in Japan and I knew I wasn't like that in real life and it would affect me going out in person. I was always scared of being seen by people because I knew I didn't look that perfect so I tended to stay home a lot and not have many friends and sort of hide out for the world and it just really affected me. The end goal is to feel good about yourself and people can see when you don't which may hurt you in the end if you're trying to build a com community online. There's real value in showing your true unique personality and beauty to the world and if you can exist both online and offline as purely yourself your authentic self, whatever that may look like, body modifications or not, whatever color hair, whatever kind of fashion that may be, and to have people accept you is the ultimate self-esteem and self-acceptance builder. I can't please everybody. It depends on which country you are in then. Beauty is in the eye of the builder. <laughs> or oh, you don't have to care about anything, I don't care. Yeah, or just do what you want to do and be yourself. <laughs> As 
price point. It's like turns into like nothing. It's like we did so many things and it turns out it's like you just have to be yourself. <laughs> What's the point? Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear what you think about this. Um, what did you think about my transformation? Which country's beauty standards do you identify with the most? What are things you agree or disagree on? Let me know in the comments below. And also a big thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.